Prologue Der schwere gefasste Entschluss The Difficult Decision Faust is within all of us. Infinity beckons, whether it be infinite knowledge, everlasting love, limitless wealth, ageless beauty, eternal fame, infinite jest, and whatever else, known or unknown, that motivates. Life, however, is finite. Imagination and reality meet in mystery. Between the infinite and the finite, this is our present, boundless struggle. In quest of the infinite, within us all is Thomas. They sat side by side on the couch, two young college students, the open vistas of youth intersecting with the closed paths of maturity. Melissa, teary-eyed, her makeup melting, and her hand on Thomas's knee, touched him, hoping that he would change his mind. She dared not kiss him, he had already turned her away. She loved him so much, or did she? Thomas sat still, staring ahead. He did not like seeing people cry. Though he wished to be a doctor, and such things would be a part of the job, he felt uncomfortable when it became personal. Besides, he did not love her anymore, or did he? They sat silently, she with her hand on his leg afraid to let go, he hands at his sides afraid to push her away. Uncomfortable for both, purgatory is the worst. To Thomas they had talked far too long. It was time to bring the matter to a close. He broke the silence. I won't have time to spend with you. Really. Just an hour on the weekend, she pleaded. That's not much time. No, he said. That would be fake, not meaningful. It would not be fair. To you. Melissa smiled weakly. But you need love. Everyone needs love. I can give you that. There were other reasons, not just love why Melissa desired Thomas, but these she could not tell him. Thomas straightened his back. No. The word no resonated in Melissa's mind as she tried to understand its meaning. No, she blurted. What do you mean? She wondered, did he not need love? Did he not think she could give it? She squeezed his knee just a bit deeper. She could not let him go. Thomas did not answer immediately. For a moment, he contemplated the Persian carpet below his feet. Someone had written that within the weaved patterns could be found the meaning of life. He tightened his lips. I need to study. There's biochem, physics, senior thesis. Yet there were other reasons. Reasons he could not tell her. She had been looking into his eyes, even when his face was turned away. But she too looked down at the intricate colors. So, Thomas, what do you love? What do you love? Thomas, this time, did not hesitate. I love knowledge, life's mysteries. That is what I love. Melissa pulled her hand away. She shook her head, and as the tears welled, the colors and patterns at her feet dissolved. Sobbing more openly, she struggled to speak. Someday you'll understand. Someday, someone will hurt you. Then you'll understand. And indeed Melissa, with the almond eyes and perfect olive skin, was right. Someday Thomas would understand. But the understanding would be incomplete, as Thomas too was right. Life, its ups and downs, was a mystery. The mystery was the one constant in his life. They stood up, said their goodbyes, and went their separate ways. All is wave. From the electrons that give matter its soft solidity, to the vicissitudes of life, waves are the rule. Life's crests fall to naders. Civilizations dissolve, replaced by others. Good melds into evil, and then back again. Hope and despair perpetually turn. From where we start, 
we end. Even the present, the reality we think we see, is an illusion. It points to the future yet lapses in an instant back to the past. We ride on that infinite wave called life, struggling to swim forward, hoping not to drown, as it carries us bobbing in a sea of fate towards distant unknown shores. And then that wave collapses, sending forth ripples to seed other waters. Yes, from the actual forces of life, the life's potential, wave is all.